and we are gonna go have a super fun day at the beach. I guess it's almost technically afternoon, but for me, this is like pretty quote unquote early. We are heading to the beach today and I just got up and got myself ready. I had big goals to like go to the gym beforehand and stuff, but I did a long run yesterday and my body was um, very sore. So I think we are just going to either do some yoga later today or maybe potentially an upper body workout if we're really feeling good. But we're just gonna take it easy today and have a nice relaxing day at the beach. Um, I am currently unloading the dishwasher and have my sheets going because that's just how we roll over here. It's like, you know, last day off. So this is kind of my Sunday technically and I wanna make sure that I'm as ready for the week as possible. Um, all the while still balancing like having fun. It's, um. I would say that's the biggest challenge of doing working full time and living on your own is balancing like making sure you make time to do fun things with friends all the while still like you know getting all the daily chores done so I have all of the dishes all over the counter and yeah we are gonna head out here pretty soon I have not gotten a text message from my friends or anything yet but as soon as I do, I'm gonna head to Rideshare and we are gonna go have a super fun day at the beach.
this and also the amount of it. you guys that clip because I was like once it left the actual earth <laughs> there was like a trail of smoke I've never seen something so wild in my life there was people all over the beach just staring up like whoa what is that so <laughs> it was a very cool experience and then we went and we had a very nice lunch at this kind of little like uh, I don't know what you want to call it, like marina type bar thing. It was so good. Oh my gosh, the shrimp, you could definitely tell was fresh. And everybody else loved their food and we were all starving. So probably made it even taste better <laughs> than it normally would. Um, but yeah, it was just a really fun day. I had fun in the car hanging out with everybody. And it was just a good last day off, especially seeing that I got my schedule for next week. And RIP, it is 47 hours of work and I'm gonna try to give away one of my shifts. I've never really done that um, But if nobody bites then guess who's stuck doing overtime again I really just want to soak up this last day off because I don't have an, another day off for an entire week and I'm like Ugh. It's okay. It's okay. Deep breaths. That's why you're here. You're here to work and I just have to keep reminding myself that <laughs> but trust me it is definitely a battle, um, especially just balancing the everyday life of like cooking and meals. That's probably the worst part for me. Um, but my biggest piece of advice to you guys is hang in there. Uh, stay very, very determined, motivated, and disciplined. I mean, you just, it requires a lot of discipline to live on your own and to get up when you don't want to get up <laughs> and to cook when you don't want to cook and do all the things that you need to do. Um, speaking of which, I need to clean my bathroom, but that will be a job for another day because it is just, I'm not feeling that right now. <laughs> but yeah, I am going to go stretch and have a relaxing night. Maybe I'll take a few clips of my tea slash peanut butter banana bowl that I have every single night. And yeah, I will catch up with you guys later this week. Morning, everybody it is Saturday and of course I have work today because why wouldn't I it's a weekend and in the hospitality field that is like a Monday so um I kind of just wanted to show you like what a typical gym day morning routine looks like for me I'm hoping to do a run day morning routine as well <laughs> However, my legs and my knees have been a little bit sore lately. Um, so I decided it would probably be better to do a gym day today and we are gonna focus on core and upper body. So yeah, I was just like, it would be kind of fun to pull up a camera and take you guys along. 
Um, I normally get up around 11, 11.15, and then this morning I just unloaded the dishwasher and drank my coffee, ate my RX bar, and now we're gonna go do a gym sesh. So, yeah, that's pretty much my morning routine. When I get back, I just normally shower and throw some makeup on my face, and honestly, I just pack and make sure that I'm ready for work and kind of hang out until it's time. I don't work until 4.30 today, so that'll be kind of nice. Yesterday I had to go in at 2.45 and it felt like so early. <laughs> leaving felt like I shouldn't even be able to leave because it was only 11.15 and I was like, I can't, I can't leave yet. But <laughs> yeah, so I will see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go have a good workout. <laughs> Alrighty, gym session done. I did drink all my water. I tried the assault bike for the first time today just because I was curious and knew that it wouldn't, it would be different for my legs versus like running. Running is just very impactful on your knees and everything where I'm not a huge fan of biking, but if that's gonna be better for my knees, I would really like to long-term incorporate some biking work into my fitness routine. I also want to start, um, it's been a goal for a while, but I would really like to start lifting heavier. So I'm going to kind of do some research on that. I'm always trying to change up my fitness routine just so I don't get bored of it. Um, and I feel like <laughs> I can run for pretty long distances and I can also kill an ab or an arm workout, but I'm just not, I can't lift very heavy and I would really like to um, just kind of work on that a little bit. Not like crazy crazy, like, you know, 100 plus pounds, but heck, even if I could lift like 20 with my arms and stuff, I would be a happy girl. So yeah, I'm gonna go back home, shower and get ready and then pack my stuff and probably get heading out. So thank you for joining me for a very realistic morning. I will kind of just insert the montage of me finishing getting ready for the day. Um, and then I'll probably just chill out before work, honestly. So not much to film there, but I'll probably also close this vlog off um, in a couple days. I just wanted to uh, kind of take you guys along because I haven't picked up the camera in a while, and I was like, it's time! <laughs> Hello everybody, good afternoon! evening, morning, whatever it is for you. For me, it is currently about four o'clock. Um, I have work today at 6.30 instead of 4.30, so that's been kind of nice to have just some, kind of like a whole extra hour to relax. Um, it is a shorter shift, but it's also overtime. So um, yeah, I have basically been struggling with knee pain when I run and I decided that it was time to head to the running store um, and take a look at shoes. Um, I've only had my Brooks for about six to seven months, so I was kind of like not upset, but at the same time I knew that it would be more efficient of me to get new shoes and cost less if I just got new sho shoes versus having to pay for knee replacements down the road. So, um, I bribed myself with the overtime that I couldn't give away today uh, by 
like letting myself buy new shoes. Well, I went there, I had them look at my shoes and um, the guy was super, super nice, super helpful. I went to the Fit to Run store in Flamingo Crossings Village and oh my goodness, um, he was just very honest. He's like, the, the shoe itself is fine. Um, it's probably the sole causing you issues. So I picked up some new shoe or like soles for my Brooks shoes. And it was kind of cool. They did like a whole mapping of my foot and yeah, basically gave me these new soles that are supposed to be memory foam, um, but they're like also meant for running. So they have the flexibility. Let me turn the light on. Maybe you can see it a little better. Ooh, sorry about the lighting and the sweat on my face. It is pretty warm out today. Um, but yeah, they are basically just new like inserts and I'm super excited to try them out. They have like this little pressure point in the middle and it feels a little weird. It feels kind of like you have, you're like running with something underneath the shoe in the middle of your foot. Um, but he said that that helps, that pressure point helps the impact of like running on cement and stuff. So, um, I just hit the end button. I'm so good at that. Super excited to try these out. I'm hoping that solves the knee pain. I also picked up my first pair of running socks somewhere in here. Ah, yes. I just got plain old white, um, and I got max cushion. I'm hoping these also help with knee pain and hopefully prevent like blisters and stuff because they're so tight fit. But I've heard a lot of good things about running socks, especially on long distance days. So yeah, that'll be kind of a new treat uh, to try running in. So other than that, it has been quite the week, honestly. I got home yesterday, no, the day before at like 1.30. And um, first of all, there was a quote unquote stranger sleeping on my couch and I was like what in the world is that well I freaked out went and got my roommate and was like listen there's like a stranger sleeping on our couch I don't know what to do um but then 10 minutes later my other roommate came in and none of the roommates were home at the time except for Abby and I my other roommate and <laughs> one of my other roommates came home with another friend and was like don't worry it's just my friend sleeping on the couch I was like oh my gosh heart attack. So to all my roommates out there, if you are a roommate, um, here's your little reminder to just, you don't even have to ask permission from your roommates technically. I mean, they would probably appreciate it, but just let them know when you're going to have a sleepover because otherwise you might freak your roommates out and think that there is some random person sleeping on the couch. <laughs> And then not even 10 minutes later, I kid you not, it's like 1.40, I'm exhausted. My poor roommate, my direct roommate, had to get up at five in the morning for her work. And I had woken her up um, because I didn't feel comfortable having a stranger sleep on the couch and having her sleep in here. So um, she was up, well then the fire alarm went off and all of us had to evacuate the building. Um, it was really cold outside and I was still in my costume. All I wanted to do was like shower and chill out for the night. And instead I was standing out in the cold waiting for the fire truck to show up for about 40 minutes. So, um, yeah, it was an experience. I, <laughs> it was kind of like that awkward laugh. Like I didn't really, I never cried, not once, but I was so exhausted. I think that I was just like, if I didn't laugh, I was gonna cry. So I just let myself laugh. And even though it wasn't funny at all, um, I think laughing was the better route to go. <laughs> but yeah, once again, if you are a roommate or you live in an apartment complex, please do not smoke in the building. Do not vape in the building. Do not do anything to trigger that fire alarm because you will be not only affecting yourself, but literally everybody else in your building. Um, yeah, it was an experience. I'm, glad that there wasn't a real fire it was just like an accident or like something must have triggered it um but <laughs> it still didn't make the situation any less intense or scary um so yeah i just had to let you guys know that little story because i was like i almost filmed it but then i just really was not um 
I was not in the mood to pick up the camera at 2 a.m. in the morning after a work day, so I didn't. Uh, but other than that, I tomorrow is my day off, so I will probably start a new vlog on my day off, um, and we will go from there. But yeah, I have just had quite the adventure down here, I must say. I've learned a lot about myself, I've learned a lot about other people, I've learned a lot about just living in an apartment. Fire alarms going off, who would have thought? I, I mean, I wasn't, like I said, I was nervous, but at the same time, I was kind of like too tired to be nervous. So it was an interesting experience. And I know quite a few people who did actually like video it, but I just did not have the heart to pick up the camera and explain the entire situation. <laughs> um, but I still nonetheless was like, I have to at least tell my vlog what happened. Uh, that way they can get a full understanding of just, I don't want to say the dark side of like the whole uh, Disney college program, but there's definitely those little moments that make you go, yes, this is, uh, it's real life. It's not like you're living, I mean, it's kind of like you're living on vacation sometimes, but then other times it's just a job. It's just living a normal life. So yeah, other than that, I'm going to get ready for my short shift today. Um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow in a new vlog. I love you all. Thank you guys so much for joining me along this journey. And yeah, until next time, I love you. Bye!